Yo, YouTube. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Easy Riders. So today, um, after last week's mammoth longest ride, I'm just going to go. It's Saturday today. I'm just, just going to go out for a little hour to stretch, stretch my legs. Um, but equally, what I thought I'd do is take the opportunity. Oh, bike just fell over. <laughs> One minute. And we're back. Apologies for that. Bike fell over in the garage. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to take the time to show you how on my Ribble, the sort of e-bike male um, system works, uh, just in case anybody's not sure. So um, you can probably see on the top frame here, this button. So to switch on the e-bike you just push the button and it goes through a sort of series of colors and then ultimately you can push the flat the button so it flashes and then it kind of tells you um, how much battery you've got left so at the moment the battery's not fully charged because it's only on orange but if you want to go through the different settings that's green that's the lowest speed you click it again medium speed orange and then top speed red uh, and then basically when it stops flashing the level of battery life going through left in the battery is determined by the color so it starts at white then it goes green then it goes orange then red and then flashing red and then basically you run out of, of battery okay so you can use it manually like that or there's also an app so what I'll do in a second is I'll put my uh, my phone onto my quad lock here on the handlebars, um, and I'll show you how you can uh, use the use the app as well to change the power settings. But equally, there's lots of information on the app. So you'll see on my uh, on my iPhone the Malay app. So just click on that, sign in. There you go. So you get this sort of dashboard. And straight away you can see that the internal battery is at 49%. So at the moment, um, I've not had it charged up fully. And you can see the range is 40 kilometers. Um, you can connect to the bike. So you'll see that the bike color is changing on there. And so there's lots of... Uh, information on this app you can save your rides on here i don't generally do it but a bit like strava you can actually connect connect this to strava so if you did do a ride um, and wanted to show it on your strava you can do that um, but ultimately when you start to ride um, you'll get your kilometers per hour and distance etc but the big plus and minus button at the top there when you when you change that button up or down it will automatically connect and change the speed um, assistance button rather on the uh, on the bike frame as well which is pretty cool so uh, you can either push it you can either change the assistance by using the button on the frame or equally the app which is uh, quite handy and then there's various different views depending on how you want to set it up um, yeah so it, it's pretty good to be fair generally speaking I don't use the app that much I've just got so used to the colors now um, and how far the bike will go um, and I generally plan my routes accordingly so yeah I don't tend to use it that much but it's a good little addition to have particularly for people that are new um, and not quite sure how far they can go or not so it's a good way of making sure when you're out and about you haven't gone so far that you haven't got enough to get home so yeah it's cool and in terms of the actual motor um i'm not sure if you can see it very well but there's a cable that comes down from so the battery's inside this down tube you can see i've got it plugged in here at the moment um and then there's a cable that's tucked nicely down here so if you ever take the back wheel off just got to undo this connection here which is dead easy um, 
and then the cable goes through and that's where the actual motor is in the in the rear hub um, so yeah there's uh, there's no resistance when it's not on um, so yeah it's really good tell tell saw that you tell tell sign that you've got an e-bike is this big black male hub um, but uh, apart from that when you look at the bike if you weren't to pick it up and assess the weight you can't really tell that it's an e-bike um, incidentally this bike was absolutely covered when I came back last weekend on that long ride to pool so I had a really good clean deep clean all the all the cassette and the chain and, and the frame so yeah excellent bike the Ribble I have to say really impressed with it I'm just hoping soon someone in the future is going to work out how to harness sort of the energy that you uh, you get when you're going downhill and put it back into the battery so it kind of self-sustains itself on a ride so you never run out sort of thing. I'm sure that's coming <laughs> but uh, yeah that's what you can see. So I'm just going to disconnect everything and then we'll get on the road. I'm just going to go out for a short spin for an hour. So we're out on the bike now. Uh, as you can see on the app, hopefully in the torch reflection, currently in the eco mode, 18 kilometers, 19 kilometers per hour. You can simply push that button, it goes into tour mode, which is like the medium mode. You'll see the thing flashing, changing the color. And in turbo, and it's gone to red down there. Easy as that. And if you want to go back, then you can switch it off all together. Dead easy. Easy as that. Bottom colliery. That's probably why it's called Coal Pit Heath, just round the corner. The old wheels. minutes from my house can't be bad out in the sticks perfect
So, as you can see, I'm back. As I said, short little spin on the Strava. 15 miles, 14 miles, no, 15 miles, 14.8 average speed, just over an hour. Still being ride. Tidy. As you can see on the ribble, the light's gone red. So I think that means 25% of the battery under 25 percent so it says 18 now yeah so 15 kilometer range still left to go as i said it wasn't on full charge when i left um but as i said you can change the speeds as you see if i change the buttons you can see it changing color on the bike which is pretty cool yeah so obviously the ma the app is free to download so if you've got the male system on your bike i would recommend downloading it uh up to you if you use it like i said i've got used to the the sort of bike now so i don't necessarily use the app but it's always there handy to know so yeah so anyway hopefully gonna pop out for a ride tomorrow whether or not rusty nails available wait and see um, but if you enjoyed this short video, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again on Easy Riders. Cheers then.